everybody, Jonathan here with another Vet Do It's 2023 teaser video. Now today we're going to look at the user experience and this is the second video that Vet Do It's have released on 2023. So I'm going to basically just take you through some of the features that have been exhibited and just discuss with you my feelings and comments on them. I think there's some amazing new features, so very, very exciting. Okay, so the very first new feature is all about performance enhancements. Now, this is something that everybody benefits from no matter what workflow they have. And you're gonna see uh, one of the engineers talking about these enhancements on sections. So Vector's mission is to provide design center software that does the heavy lifting without pulling you out of your creative space. In Vector 2023, you will find everyday performance improvement that will speed up your processes and leave you more time to design. First up, we've made improvement to section viewport to help streamline your documentation workflow. Calculation and processing section viewport will be moved to the background and will be taking advantage of the Vector Graphic module. This means section viewport will update up to six times faster. So now section viewports actually use the uh, VGM or Vectorworks graphics module. Now that really will lead to a dramatic speed up and Vectorworks is saying maybe up to six times for section viewports now, which is a big significant improvement. Now I'm running an M1 Pro laptop and I've got like a lot of cores on that. So the multiprocessing will really help. And most modern PCs have multiprocessors too. So I think the VGM, the speed up in sections and the processing in the background, all of these are gonna really speed up the average workflow. So the next new feature is the new Maxon Redshift rendering that's now available for absolutely everybody, regardless of what GPU you have. Let's hear Vectorx explain how this is gonna work. We are also helping you take advantage of Maxon Redshift Everywhere initiative that make Redshift render style accessible to all designers, regardless of the hardware you're using. You're no longer limited to your computer GPU as Redshift can now run on the CPU for additional power. So anyone can access the power of real-time visual results with Redshift rendering mode. So as you can see, Redshift rendering is going to be available for everybody. Uh, Vector 2022 did introduce the fact that you could render a Redshift on the cloud. And that's something that if you haven't tried, you should definitely have a go. You still may want to do that because it offloads the uh, processing power from your computer to the cloud. But the idea that you can actually render directly on your PC or Mac without capability on the graphics card is fantastic as well. It's a very welcome feature. Thank you. So finally, the next new feature is the overhaul of the Vectorworks color picker. And this means more consistency between Mac and Windows, which is actually good when you're cross collaborating with other consultants. It looks like there's some really cool new ways to pick your colors, choose your colors, and really like the new eyedropper to match color as well. This version also includes improvement to the color selector that will create a consistent unified dialogue between Mac and Windows version of Vectorworks, letting you easily maintain color selection when collaborating on files. You'll also be able to accurately choose color in all four color spaces, RGB, HSB, CMYK, and grayscale, as well as pick color from the screen. So I'm really excited about the new color picker to try this out and see how this has been overhauled to improve our workflows. Let's face it, it's something that we all use on every single project, whether it's 2D or 3D, we're always involved in using some color. Now my view Vectorworks handles color better than any software, but it looks like it's even better now than it was before. Anyway, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. I'm really looking forward to making an absolute ton of new videos for you in the next few months. So do subscribe and like if you're not already on the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.